Everyone's doing it for themselves. We're talking about Sansa's next steps on today's Nerdist News. Girls seem to grow up so fast these days, don't they? One moment they're little kids dreaming about big castles and fantasizing about a schoolyard crush. And the next moment they're turning their ex-husband's face into a Purina puppy chow. Although totally deserved. Yes, from purple weddings to father beheadings, we've witnessed Sansa Stark go through quite the coming of age over the last six years on Game of Thrones, but that doesn't mean this little bird has spread her wings all the way yet. In a recent interview with Entertainment Weekly, Sophie Turner gave us a small glimpse of where her character might be headed when the show returns next summer. In the interview, Turner explains that as season seven opens, Sansa is seemingly in control for the first time, and it really suits her. She's kind of having a power trip. Then goes on to add, she's also becoming more insecure because there are threats to that power she holds. Well, sorry to hear about that one, Sansa, but come on, girl, you've lived in Westeros for how long now? If there's one thing you can count on when you play the Game of Thrones, it's that if you've got power, someone is gonna be coming for it. Well, that and incest, you can count on lots and lots of incest. But most of Sansa's family is dead, so she probably doesn't have to worry about that one. Now, the second she took her rightful place at the head of Winterfell, she should have started looking over her shoulder for danger. And where exactly could this danger be coming from? Well, first and foremost, she should be keeping an eye out for creepers. And right now, she's got Seven Kingdoms creeper number one, Littlefinger, sitting right by her side. Sure. Peter Baelish came through in the clutch at the end of season six, bringing in the Knights of the Vale to help her and Jon Snow win the Battle of the Bastards. But let's face it, Littlefinger isn't exactly a no strings attached kind of guy. That assist definitely came with some expectations, most likely marriage. And if Sansa chooses to rebuff him again, he's probably not going to take it in stride. There's a good chance Baelish is gonna go all beta male when Sansa friend zones him for the umpteenth time and he starts using his considerable power to hurt her instead of help her. In the same EW interview, Turner mentioned that one of the things she's most excited about for season seven is that the main character Characters are coming together and it feels like things are ramping up. So that would seem to suggest that Sansa should be worrying about threats from outside of Winterfell too. Of course, a Stark Lannister face-off has been brewing ever since season one, and the inevitability of that only increased after Mad Queen Cersei exploded her way to the Iron Throne in last season's finale. But could there be another queen that Sansa should be looking out for? Well, thanks to these set picks from a few months ago, we know that Jon Snow and Daenerys finally meet face to face in season seven. Right now, Sansa might be lady number one in Winterfell, but she could easily lose that standing if her bastard brother marries the mother of dragons. But maybe the biggest threat Sansa will face in season seven will be herself. We're already sensing some pangs of jealousy from her for not getting any credit for her family's military victory over the Boltons last season. That jealousy could easily drive a wedge between her and her brother. And if it gets bad enough, we may even see little Lady Stark go full Cersei. And no, we don't mean she's going to get it on with Jon. They're probably only cousins anyway, so it wouldn't even really count. But letting paranoia, jealousy, and intense sibling rivalry turn you into a power hungry monster. Now that's going full Cersei. And it's definitely a path Sansa could be headed down, even if it's one we really hope that she avoids. Now Game of Thrones doesn't return until next summer, so we have at least a whole half a year to keep speculating on this stuff. So what do you think? Should Sansa be more worried about the danger outside or inside of her home? What else are you hoping to see in season seven? And don't you miss the days when you could just read the books if you wanted to see what was happening next? Let's discuss. Also guys, I have a super special announcement to make. Firebrand, the comic that Erica Lewis, Claudia Aguirre, and I have been working on will have the first three chapters available for free on Webtoons today with weekly chapters starting January 26th. So please be sure to subscribe to the series on webtoons.com or download the app to check out the continuing story of Natalie Prisano and the supernatural world that lies within the Seattle underground. I'm super stoked to have it officially launched and I hope you guys love it. Remember, it's free today, so make sure and check it out. Woo! Yay! Woo! It's only been two years in the making! We're talking more Game of Thrones over at Nerdist.com slash Twitch. Today at 3 p.m. on Nerdist News Talks Back, Kyle breaks down the science of Tatooine's dual sunsets on an all-new Because Science. Check us out over at Nerdist.com, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Nerdist News. <laughs>